Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. My name is Siar Bahadurzada, and I'm the Evolve MMA head coach. This is my student, Kim Kyu Song. And we're here today to show you guys how to counter leg kicks, right? The outside leg kick and the inside leg kick. Um, it's called countering the leg kicks, but in Holland, we also call it takeovers, right? Overnamer. With that, I mean to say that when he comes in with a leg kick, it's an action, right? I check, I block, and then I take over. That's why I call it also a takeover. It's called a takeover. So um, when you hear me saying takeover during the video, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So first, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to block a leg kick and then how to counter right after you block the leg kick. First of all, it's very important, guys, how you guys block the leg kick, right? Uh, there is a good way of blocking a leg kick and there is a terrible way of blocking a leg kick. I'm going to show you both. So the first one, the right way, how to block a leg kick. If Kim is going to throw a leg kick from the outside to the outside of my leg, first thing that he comes in, and I know that he's throwing, going to throw a leg kick, I'm going to lift my leg a little bit up, a little bit up and turn it to the outside, okay? So if you see it from the front, and I'm here in a fight stance, it's just this, to the outside. Lift your leg, lift your leg and turn your leg to the outside, just a little bit, don't do this. There are a lot of fighters who kick under your leg, right? He kicks this leg and he takes it down. So you're here and he comes in with a leg kick, he comes in with a leg kick, just short block, we call it short block in Holland. Some people call it check, we call it uh, short block in Holland. So he comes in with a kick, knee to the outside and short block. And when you block a kick, guys, when you block a, a leg kick, I know a lot of people throw leg kicks, 90% throw leg kick with this, part of their, with this part of their feet, right? Or some people even do it with this part, which is terrible. That's why we do short block. And with short block, I mean blocking with this part of your shin. This is the hardest part of your shin, right? The thickest and the hardest part of your shin. Whether you kick with this part of your shin or with a foot, chances are that you will hurt your leg, okay? The person who throws it is going to hurt his leg badly and is going to affect his movements. In the worst case scenario, he might not even be able to, do, to fight the same way or give up. And in a lot of cases, a lot of people hurt their leg in a way that they have to call the fight and stop the fight. So, when he comes in with a leg kick, and also when you lift your leg and move to the side a little bit, move, move, move to the outside, the idea of moving it to the outside is first of all, you get his, this part of shin or this part of his leg to block with this part of your shin, with the, with the upper part of your shin. That's the idea behind lifting it up and turning it to the side, you see? If you turn it here to the outside, your shin turns toward the outside, and that's exactly when his foot or your lower part of his shin, you catch with this part. Now, it's not going to hurt you as much, but they are going to feel it. You should try it with your um, training partners and see how this affects them. Do it with the shin protection, please, and don't hurt each other, but try to block the leg kicks with this part of your shin. Again, he comes in and he throws a leg kick. I turn my leg to the outside, I turn my leg to the outside like this, and I block it, short block. Now, blocking or checking the kick is one thing, but again, this opens up a door for you to counter it. And countering a leg kick, uh, you can do in a few ways. Now, when he throws a leg kick, when he throws a leg kick and I block it, after the block, after the block, I know that he's in a good distance. Don't wait until he puts his leg back and then go attack because after he puts his leg back, he's out. And even if you go in, he's out. He's out of your reach, okay? As soon as he kicks, before he kicks, puts his leg back, I step in with a right cross, okay? He kicks, short block, step in with a right cross, okay? 
You can also open up with a left hook. Okay, he throws a kick, I block, I throw a left hook. Because I turn to this side with my body, opening up with a left hook gives your left hook a momentum as well. And because he's close with his head and with his body, if he throws a leg kick, he throws a leg kick, block, and then go in with a left hook. Now, there are fighters who like to attack the head after a leg kick, but in Holland, I have seen a lot of kickboxers attacking the body. And with the body, I mean his lever. If he throws a leg kick, I block, I step in, and the body shot. This, punch to the liver. Now, with hit kick, with hit punches, there is a chance that his hands are up and you hit the defense. But with body shots, if you, if you hit someone with a good lever shot and a well-placed lever shot, you turn him off completely. His body shuts down and it's not good for eight counts. A good well-placed lever shot is not good for eight or 10 counts, it's good for 30 counts, okay? If you hit him in the right place, with the right timing, a lever shot can, can completely turn somebody off, like completely shut him down. Again, he throws a leg kick, I block, I step in with a body shot. Again, as I block, I turn my, I turn my waist to this, and when I go back, I turn my waist and put my weight on my front leg, body shot, okay? So, he throws a leg kick, I block it to the outside, I go in with a, with a right cross, or I block it and I go with the left hook. So we talked about um, how to uh, block a leg kick, right? Turning your shin to the outside and block. And now I'm going to show you guys how not to block a leg kick because um, it's gonna hurt. So when Kim throws a leg kick, and I see a lot of people do this, that's, that's the worst idea ever, okay? Um, Kicking, when somebody kicks and you just lift your leg like this, they, they're going to catch your calf, okay? And calf hurts way more than leg. So don't pull your legs, out, legs like this and feed them your, your calf in a silver platter. Don't do that. When he comes in with a kick, I turn to the outside. And the wrong way to do it is when he comes with a kick is to just lift my leg up like this. He's going to catch my calf. So that's how you not uh, block a leg kick, guys. Don't do that. Um, that being said, now we're going to the inside leg kick. Now, the inside leg kick is the exact same way we block, we block a little bit to the inside. Now, if Kim throws a leg kick and he aims for this part of my leg, right, the inside leg kick, if he comes in, I go to the outside again. Why? Because if I do this, it's shin versus shin. It's gonna hurt me too. So by turning it to the out to the inside a little bit, I catch the softest the softest part of his shin or his foot on the hardest part of my shin. So just by moving a little bit to the inside, he comes in, he comes in, just moving it a little bit to the inside, like this, you catch him with the hardest part of your shin. Again, he comes in with a leg kick, block. That's a block. Now, once you block. He feels the pain, and now it's time to counter. Now it's time to take over. Now he had an action, you hurt him, and now it's time for you to hurt him. Again. So he comes in with an inside leg kick. Block. As I block, you guys see that my shoulders turn this way, which sets up my right hand for a powerful strike. Because from, from this position, there's a lot of power behind my right hand because my entire body moves into the, into the punch. So he throws a leg kick, I block, and counter with a right cross. Okay, one more time. Inside leg kick, block, right cross. Okay, one more time. Inside leg kick, block, right cross. So this is how you block an inside leg kick. And after blocking an inside leg kick, it's best to open a counter with the left, with the, with the right shoulder, with the right cross. So, block, go in with the right cross. Um, again, the inside leg kick, how to not block it. If he throws an inside leg kick, and I do this, same story. He doesn't get the outside of my calf, this time he gets the inside of my calf, and it's as hurtful as the outside of the calf. 
So don't do that, guys. Don't lift your leg like this when somebody inside leg kicks you. Don't do this. Just a short block to the inside, short turn to the inside. And this also sets them up, sets them up for the right cross. And if you do this, he's going to kick your calf. Now, we have uh, discussed with you guys um, how to block an outside leg kick, how not to block an outside leg kick, and how to take over or counter when somebody throws an outside leg kick. And we discussed how to throw, how to block an inside leg kick, how not to block an inside leg kick, and how to take over or counter the inside leg kick. And that being said, our video comes to an end, guys. Thank you very much for watching again. And Kim and I are very grateful for you guys for watching this video and giving us your feedback. Thank you so much. Until next time, uh, stay tuned. There will be more videos. Thank you guys and see you guys next time.